Hi, everybody. Uh, this is section 4.6 in our book, uh, Solving Absolute Value Inequalities. Um, and let's begin. Okay. Um, okay, solve the inequality and graph the solution set. I'm going to start with some nice easy ones right here. So this one says uh, uh, the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 3. You remember when we did uh, if the absolute value of x equals 3, we got x equals negative 3 or positive 3 because the absolute value of negative 3 is 3 and the absolute value of positive 3 is 3. Remember that? And then we, when we graph that, uh, we get, um, uh, when we graph just numbers, you guys, we just put dots on the numbers. When, you know, it's not no shading, so there's no less thans or anything on equals bar right here, so there's no shading right there. Okay, so this one is going to be similar to that, you guys, except it says less than 3. So what it means is, is uh, on this graph right below that we just did right there, those guys are saying uh, uh, absolute value is like how far it is away from 0 on a number line. So if it says 3, then it's how far is, what number is 3 units away from 0? Negative 3 is 3 units away from 0, and so is positive 3. It's also 3 units away from 0. So I'm going to use this away from 0 to talk about this one. This says less than 3. So it's less than 3 units away from 0. So that's what means uh, distance from 0 is less than or equal to 3 on a number line. So let's graph that, you guys. If I graph that, there's all the points. It could be negative 2.5, negative 2.1, negative 2.01, negative 1.9. All these points and all the positive points less than or equal to uh, 3. So it gives us this algebra answer right here. Negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. Can you see this graph representing this algebra answer right here? Okay. So, um, so keep in mind, I'm going to come back and reference to this in just a second. When it's pointing to the absolute value, it means less than. It gives us this answer right here. Notice this 3 is negative. It goes on the left, and x goes in the middle, and then positive 3 goes on the right. So this this kind of thing gives us this uh, answer right here. Okay. Um, so what about greater than 3 units? Okay, so this means distance from 0 is greater than 3 units from 0 or farther than 3 units from 0 on a number line. Okay, so there's the graph of that. So it's open circle because it's just greater than. All that stuff right there is farther than 3 units from 0. And on this side, this is farther than 3 units from 0 on a number line. Okay, that's a typical OR statement, you guys. So OR statements uh, are written like this, you guys. So we say this side first, okay? Remember, when x is on the left, the shading tells me which way to point that inequality. So it points to the left. Over here, the shading goes to the right, so the arrow goes to the right. And this is an OR statement, so all OR statements have to have the word OR. Okay, so there would be the, the answer on that. And we're going to reference to that um, in just a second. We're going to use this reference on the other problems here. So let's go ahead and do some of this uh, algebra one. Okay, so this one is uh, absolute value of 2x plus 6 is greater than 4. That looks like... Um, uh, the inequality is pointing away from the absolute value. So the one we had before was when we had the absolute when it was greater than three units. So it gave us this answer. So what I'm going to do is put this negative four in for the negative three right there, and the and the three is going to be the four. Okay. So this three is going to be this four right here. Okay. And the x is going to be the two x plus six. So I'm going to write it just like this, you guys. So it's going to be two x plus six is less than negative four, or or 2x plus 6 is greater than uh, positive 4. Okay, so when you see it pointing away from the absolute values, that's how you set these absolute values up. There's always two answers to absolute values. Okay, minus 6, minus 6, and you get uh, uh, that, and then you divide by 2, and there's your answer right there. And then when you graph, open circles, so here we go, open circles, and, and there's your answer. Okay, open circle at negative 5 and, and positive 1, or negative 1, sorry and shaded in the opposite directions. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this one, uh, absolute value of 2x plus 1, less than or equal to 7. Okay, when we had uh, less than or equal to 3, we got this answer. So what I'm going to do is put that 2x plus 1 right where that x is right there, and this side's going to be negative 7, and this side's going to be positive 7. So when it's pointing towards the, in, uh, the absolute value, then we set it up like this. Okay, um, so here we go. We're going to solve this inequality. going to subtract 1. Okay, you get negative 8. Don't forget, negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. And then you're going to divide by 2, and you get that answer. And then when you graph that guy, you're going to get uh, that graph right there. Okay? Uh, okay, number 5. Okay, this one you got to 
you have to add 4 to both sides, so we're going to add 4 to both sides. You've got to get that absolute value all by itself first. Okay, 5 plus 4 is 9. And then we're going to set that up as an AND, so that 2x plus 3 uh, goes in the middle. So the 2x plus 3 is going to go right here. Okay, and then negative 9 is going to go over here, and positive 9 is going to go over there. All right, so there we go. And then we're going to subtract, and negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12, and then divide by 2, and then there's our algebra answer right there, and then our graph answer. We're going to go ahead and put closed circles on both of those and, and, and be done. All right?